Here she is. Here's my new bike. BMW S1000XR in red. Isn't she look a beauty? Come with all the boxes. I took the rear rack off because I won't use the side boxes unless I'm away for probably a week. So. Certainly sounds a lot different to a Triumph with the triple engine. This has obviously got inline four. Sound too bad, stock exhaust. So I've only ridden it from where I bought it. I bought it from Slipstream Motorcycles at Skegness. I've rid it back. Well, it's quite a warm morning today, sun's shining, that's what we like. Let's have a bit of the good stuff. Should do it. Thank you. So yeah, why did I change? Why did I change from my Triumph? Well, mainly to do a comfort, really. Obviously, did the uh, front's tour on it, and although well, it wasn't too bad, my arms and my wrists were aching a bit by the end of the day, so. After seeing a lot of the boys on these upright bars, bikes, my bad day obviously test riding the NT1100 and it just looked so comfortable that position that I thought my next bike is going to have to be something like that and I've been looking at these so I thought why not this one came up right kind of money and I'd had, my I'd had my Triumph now for three years so I fancy the change and this bike in this position is ever so comfy it's just so so easy no pressure anywhere and surprisingly it's quite easy to ride now I've got a brand new tyre on the back so that's got to be a bit easy till it gets scrubbed in and not only that I think they've stuck a cheapie on it something called Mitus I've never heard of it I've had a quick google of it I don't think it's a a big brand but it'll do the job for now so we'll get out of town we'll have a quick stop and have a little look around now, I'm in road mode at the moment has got four modes rain road dynamic 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 pro it's got quick shift up and down which is good another thing i wanted on my next bike cruise control we've got that just for obviously if i'm stuck on a motorway for a long time it's nice to just relax the arms even though on this i think sat like this I could be quite comfy actually. Suspension at the moment feels quite firm, so I don't know whether you can change stuff on you in each mode. We'll have to have a look at that. What oh, a beautiful day though. Probably at about 14 degrees today. Nice clear sky. 
a lot of wind considering it last night it was the wind was quite bad that quick shifter just works so well so much easier now gear changing smooth as anything back down again I love the sound of it when it when you drop it back down so light feels so much lighter than the sprint and obviously with these big wide handlebars so much easier to maneuver it around Certainly likes to pick up speed. This is some machine. I bloody love it. Now this screen is a not a stop screen, it's aftermarket and it's I'm not getting no wind off it whatsoever. So I don't know if this is doing its little trick. This is bouncing around a lot, but we are getting a bit of wind today, it's a little bit on my shoulder area. Nothing too much. Certainly nothing battering my helmet. Oh, let's listen to this quick shifter again. She likes to go. Yeah, I can see me getting on just fine with this. Such a better position to be in. But the arm area, I mean already now, I would, even on this little short bit, I would have been feeling it in my in my right wrist. It used to uh, get a bit tingly in that position. Bars were a little bit buzzy, and to be fair, one of the gripes with this bike was uh, buzzy bars and that's that was one of the things putting me off until I test rode it and I don't find it that bad there is a little bit there but nothing a lot this has got the uh, Evo Tech heavier weights already on it so that might have made it a bit better and I think the 2017 model uh, Piggy had that one I think that, that seemed to be a lot better but so I don't find it that bad. Certainly not going to bother me. In fact, my wrist isn't now bent in a over-the-top position. I think we'll be all right. See what the difference is with this screen down. Yeah, I'm not getting bad wind now, but I can feel it now. I think from rough around town and everything, brought a bit down, but I think when you're at national speeds, we better in there. We'll stick it, we'll stick it back up. As simple as that. One pull, up or down. Mirrors are good. See down the right, no shoulder. It's got a bit of my forearm. And I don't think this one's set right, I need to... I could see, but I'm getting more on my arm in that one. I 
Now we're taking, there's obviously going to be a doddle on this. I've got heated grips on this bike, don't really need them today, we'll bang them on. I think we're on the high setting at the minute and they've got hot quite quick. Certainly getting warm and unlike mine on the Triumph, my other ones on the Triumph had, we've got hand guards so that's actually going to stop the wind. Let's try cruise control out shall we? Doing 60, so turn it on. No, that's not on. Right, that's on. Right, that's set. There we go. That's going to be great for the motorway. Cruise along, rest your hands. And then to stop it, you just do anything, so... A bit of brake or... I think anything you do turns up straight off. So agile this is for what seems to be a big bike really. Like I say it's not sure what the height is but compared to mine I could get my balls and flat foot if I'm one footed on my on the triumph but I found it quite heavy. Whereas this I could probably have it a little lower, I could probably look at see what the I mess about with suspension to drop it slightly, not far. But it's so light, and I normally always stop covering the covering the back brake, so stopping on one foot's not a problem. I've got flat feet on this, so it's obviously got detuned sports engine in it. The power's there when I want it, if or if you need it. That's the best thing about it. So I'm still in third gear, look, I'm at 2,000 revs, 20 mile an hour, and it's still running, running smooth. So much leverage on these wide bars, love it. No effort whatsoever to get around the corners. I did like the triple, don't get me wrong, but I did just find it a little bit dated whereas this it's a bit more a bit more a bit more modern for me more up my street I did look at going for the single R but with the touring in mind we'll have a little pull in here actually So well, there she is. She looks good. Certainly gonna have a lot of fun on that. So we got we got Evo Tech guards, radiator cooler. I so say we got the added bar ends. We've got Evo Tech tail tidy. I've actually got the crash bungs, but I just don't got the tool to get that off. So I pop around Dad's. He's got all the tools. He's got a nice red belly pan, which I like. A couple of stone chips. I'll we'll have to get them filled in. And there's just a little scratch there. But other than that. 
some good good nick. So yeah, the sound of sound on this. That's a stock exhaust. Love it. Got cruise control, heated grips. Let's try a different mode, shall we? What have we got? Let's try in dynamic. That's set in dynamic. Right, it's a suspension. They've got a helmet and luggage there, so is that stiffened up? That's the wrong bloody button. So I'm assuming that might be something to do with the suspension setup, luggage and pillion maybe. We'll have to We'll have to have a little play. So let's carry on a bit more. Went the wrong way then, he went back down instead of up. And I think we'll uh, finish the video here, I think. I'm going to go in here now, see if I can get a tank flange. Not a waterproof all in one suit. And I shall catch you all next time I'm out and about. So this is me, oh, we've got a few bikes here, look. So I shall catch you all next time I'm on a video. Ciao for now everybody.